Good evening and welcome. My name is Jupiter Mayaka. Kiamba member of parliament Paul Koinange is said to be laid to rest at his Kiamba home today. According to the organizing committee, very few people will be in attendance at the burial ceremony for the two-term member of parliament. This is due to the set COVID-19 protocols announced by the government. The legislator who served as the chairperson of the departmental committee on administration and national security at the National Assembly succumbed to coronavirus-related complications at the Nairobi Hospital to earlier this week. Moving on, the United Kingdom has effectively banned people from traveling from Kenya from entering England starting the 9th of April 2021 to prevent the spread of the coronavirus. Kenya is among four countries that have been added to the UK blacklist. The directive issued by the UK through its British High Commission office in Nairobi has been attributed to the detection of the South African variant of the virus in travelers from Kenya. In an update on the government website, the UK said some travelers from Kenya have tested positive for the South of African COVID-19 variant. Kenya through the Treasury Cabinet Secretary Okoriatani has borrowed a total sum of 255 million shillings from the International Monetary Fund to facilitate the expenses of the COVID-19. The money will be used to reduce debt owed to the country to protect Kenya from debt attacks. The International Monetary Fund has said that Kenya's debt is maintainable but is at a high risk of experiencing future debt issues and should focus on mending the policy challenges and structures Kenya has avoided Kenya has avoided extensive commercial debts to cut on repayments New roads are expected to be constructed by the Kenya Metropolitan Services after an official announcement by the company. Contractors have until Monday to deliver their construction tenders to the agency. The construction of the road is to make the areas involved accessible. President Uhuru Kenyatta, who was inspecting the agency, President Uhuru Kenyatta, who was inspecting the agency's current new projects with former Prime Minister Raila Odinga, stated that they are aware of the congestion issues and are fixing the problem through such measures. The new road constructions are to help decongest the city. That is it from our news desk. I am Jupiter Meka. Good evening.